Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Hit it, Frank. What's up, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Bra Motherfucking Topics. I'm your host, Kim Congdon, here with my co-host. Alex Scarlato. Hi, Kimmy. Hi, baby girl. Kimmy, I've gone eight, about 12 hours without seeing you now. Yeah. It's been tough. I know. I, uh, I'm staying with Alex currently right now. Kim, uh, Kim took two her two most previous showers. I ain't even shower sat. Isn't that sad? She's so, she's so. Uh, if you don't know, we shower sit each other, which is one of us sits on the toilet while the other one showers. It's really fun. It we don't even talk most of the time. Usually it's dead silent, but it's just nice knowing there's another body in the shower. It's really nice. You. Somebody to hand you a towel. You could hear the shower sitters TikToks going from inside the shower. It's there's just nice. life happening in the bathroom. It's yeah. also lonely. Yeah, it's good. Um, it's. We both checked. Um, it's uh, pretty fun. And uh, yeah, I haven't taken my last two showers with you, which is very sad. I know. I feel really at fault for that. And I'm sorry. It's not your fault at all. I left last night. That's true. I, uh, um, how was your night? My night was good. I left. I got uh, I, my my New York boyfriend called me. You got dick down heavy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I did. Um, it's so funny though. The guy that I am like, the guy that I see in New York, mm-hmm. uh, he, we had like a very honest conversation about sex last night. Interesting. Because he was like, the thing is, the problem with these men is they're very confident. Even when they don't, they don't realize they're doing something wrong. Yes, and they're shook. They love, they love their confidence. They, they love their confidence, and like women don't speak their minds enough. Agreed. And we need to. Okay. But yeah, last night we were talking about sex, and I was, I had mentioned, I think just one thing I didn't like, and then he was like, "Well, what else don't you like?" And then I started thinking, he was like, it opened well, the floodgates. It opened the like, floodgates. Everything you've ever done, honestly, <laughs> every way that you've ever touched me, I hate. Yeah, no, no, he's really good. He's what I told him. I was like, you're really good in bed. There are a few tweaks that could make the car run better. Okay. <laughs> it's like easy oil changes, you right, know? Right. Little thing. Yeah. And he was shocked by the things I said. And I wonder how many men like, don't rin and the things that I said aren't like a thing that is just him. It's a thing that I found common with other men. I'm so excited to hear the list. Like I want to sign off on everything. Don't you hate it when a guy is like fingering you, and y- it's like not a good spot for you, or it doesn't feel good, or he could be like doing something different. So you try to guide his hand, and instead of letting you do that, he pushes it away like he knows better. I've literally never had that happen. Never. That's crazy. Yeah. That's really insane behavior. That's, I mean, I've had a few guys do that. No, I've had a guy who like in, okay, so we'd be like fucking doggy style and I would go to like touch myself and he would push my hand away from myself. That's being, like, insane. I'm better. To... I'm better. Like I, d- you don't need your own hand. Oh, I could no. do this all on my own. And I'm like, motherfucker, I'm trying to tell you that you can't. <laughs> yeah. No. Like I'm trying to help you out That's so here. crazy because we both have never experienced the other one and I think yours is insane. Mine's insane, right? And he would get offended. This was like my my uh, ex for, that I dated for a really long time. Mm-hmm. He would literally get offended when I tried to help the situation on my own end, because he was like, what, is this dick not enough for you? Like, Ew, that was the yeah, attitude. It's like, no, like, it's not. It's not. I'm no. sorry. And it's big. Well, that, it's was, that was part of the conversation, too. I was like, I don't, men think that the dick's enough. And I was like, Your, y'all's dicks is not, it's not that great. If, if you I find that with, dig, with big dick guys, especially. They think that like, big dick's enough. They think that their big dick is like a treasure to this world and all they need to do is fuck you with it. And well, they're like, not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like wrong, But wrong. they kind of are, though, because um, it's like if you're if you do that for years on end and all they do is fuck you. And right. They, they think that they don't need to like touch you otherwise it becomes a massive problem no for sure there were a, a lot problem of things the size of that dick yeah no 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 the dick's not enough for sure but i can't believe you've never had a guy like push your hand away from like showing them where to move their hand 
No. That's crazy. No, I've had a guy, yeah, yeah just push my hand away from so myself. So don't do that. If a girl's trying to move your hand, it's not that you're- so, hand. It's not that you're so, this is what they think. It's not that you're so good in bed, she can't handle it anymore. I promise you. No girl, if you're doing something good, no girl is going to try to move you out of the way. Unless she wants you not doing that anymore. Yeah. That's the, that's the giant hint, is if she's trying to get you off of her, it means get off. Two- if you have to lick your hand or spit on it, you're not doing your job right. Yes, you're that's taking true. a shortcut to trying to make yourself come, and it's going to make the entire sex experience not good. This was also a massive issue with my ex boyfriend because he like, doesn't care not, if you're yeah, coming. He literally felt that like the presence of his hard dick meant that we could just be having sex right now. Like it meant like there was no Like he's so hot you're like I'm dripping. At not the even side that. Of it. I feel like as soon as he like he he just truly never cared if I was wet or not. He was like we could make wet happen. Like it's so crazy. I've got other wet. Pu- I'll I'll spit on. There's it. other water like, around. There's we, water. What are we a third world country? There's water everywhere to make it wet. Yeah, it was big on like, it was like, I started dating this guy when we were like 17. It's like, we shouldn't need the amounts of lube that you think you're need, that you think that sex requires by the time we're 20 years old. Like, we don't don't need to use lube. Yeah. It just doesn't need to be. Right. It's crazy. I agree. I've so far, so far, I'm all on board with you. So, yeah, if you have to spit or lick every time, it's because you're not doing enough for your girl. And a little spit doesn't hurt. A little spit doesn't hurt. In fact, during sex, kind of hot. Great. If you do it like just to do it, kind of hot. But we shouldn't be starting with spit though. It should, the purpose of the spit shouldn't be to be wet enough to, to start doing sexual, to start doing any sexual activity. It should be like, I'm spitting on it because this is kind of a dirty thing to do right now. Mm -hmm. I'm into that. I'm with you. But you shouldn't be spitting on it to make for the purpose of making it wet. Yeah. I mean. So that was number two. Number three is not an issue this guy has. Um, but I told him it was just like super important during sex is like to be affectionate. I don't like when guys aren't affectionate at all. I like to. I'm a human being who wants to be kissed. That's funny. Okay. I'm halfway in on this one. Yeah. Yeah. It very much depends on my mood. Really? Yeah. Sometimes you're like, just fuck me. Sometimes I'm like, I don't even want to look at you. Just <gasps> fuck me. I'm not like that. Totally. Like, it, like, I feel like sometimes, I feel like sometimes the only way for me to come is to literally just think about the feeling that I'm experiencing. Like, no outside sexual thoughts come to mind. It's literally just focusing on on the physical sensation and sometimes i just need to literally shut out everything else right. to get there you know what i mean like right. literally head under a blanket let's pretend that we've never <laughs> alex spoken looks like a, alex looks like a, a grade school child reading a book past her bedtime when she fucks <laughs> just a yes. flashlight in a, 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 fl- a tent yeah no i i don't mind that every now and again and of course not every time like it depends like what my emotional needs are at the moment like sometimes you're fucking just to like fucking get it out and then sometimes you're like fucking and you're like I, i'm kind of looking for some like like uh like support's a wheel a weird word to use but sometimes you fuck just to feel less lonely kind of thing like you want to have that connection fully and in that situation i don't mind affection i I like it actually of course um but then i do have my moments where i'm like don't look at me it's very interesting that those moments are split up for you because for me i am both of those people but during the same sex session how do you even merge that how you does just have how different things come of, together you switch positions and then you change the vibe you could be like in a fucking position where you're not looking at each other and you're like super animalistic and then you switch it up and you could be like kissing that kind you know of yeah I mean? no it happens kinda, and changing positions does change the state of mind i feel but like i can't go from full-on one to full-on in the other in the same no in the same i go. can't i can't just do one or the other Really? Yeah, I have to be a little bit of both. And how's the guy supposed to know, though, what, like, in the exact moment he's supposed to be affectionate and not? Good sexual chemistry. You have to just understand. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's a vibe. It's like you can't dance with some people. True. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some people, you're like, how do how do we know that our feet are doing this? It's like, they are. Yeah. Right? Yeah, sort of. But it, but in a way, just 
like it requires two good dancers to dance well. It's always somebody's fault. <laughs> yeah, that, no, the rhythm. It's all. very rare. The yeah. sex is so good. I mean, I'm talking. I'm in 31 years. I'm talking three people maybe yeah, okay. <laughs> that can dance really well. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Okay, I get. I get that. So, but you're looking for affection at least at the beginning. I mean, not even at the beginning and not consistently, just affection throughout. I like to be kissed every once in a while to, to, for a guy to be sweet. I like when guys are like sweet to me. I feel like you could gauge how I'm feeling in that area by how much foreplay I'm down for because I feel like foreplay is generally more like the affectionate part. And sometimes I'm just I feel like opposite. Sometimes I'm just like, let's stop, like, stop this and let, let's fuck. Mm. Like I'm over it. I'm ready for the next stage. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're the opposite. I feel like foreplay, less affectionate during foreplay. No, I feel like uh, uh, foreplay is more of like the sexual, like we're gonna fuck part. No, I'll be. I'll well, yes, but I feel like the like more like tenderness, emotional type stuff gets me more into that, and then I'm over it in like ten minutes. And I'm like, just fuck me while I. Yeah, so wall. you do do both. Yeah, I guess I do. I, yeah. I guess I do. But one is specifically like, like I'm over. But that. what I'm saying is, women don't. I don't think most women just want to go into straight like just fuck me. It's like no, you need like a second. A second, yeah. You need a second. You need five minutes. You need five minutes to not feel like a fucking. You just got picked up like a hooker. Yeah, okay, you know I'm what I mean. You, those five minutes, but then when those five minutes are up, you could just fuck. Yes, but I do I'm like to it. be kissed still. I could take it or leave it. <laughs> I respect that. Mm. I'm like, I feel like we've moved past the kissing phase already. I'm like, we're, why are we going back to step one now? Like, that's how my I'm brain not saying, is going I don't, it. I mean, and when I'm saying kissing, I'm saying like a kiss, right. a two second quick make out, and then back to fucking. I'm not saying I need to be, sure. I don't want to be passionate for I'll a long do a, time either. I'll do a quick kiss between positions, maybe. If we find each other face if we to find, face. If we, if we happen to pass each other in the stars. If our ships sail across one another <laughs> like that, then sure, I'll make a pit stop. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. Okay, I'm with that. Okay. I um, like this. What's the fourth thing? The fourth thing I told him was, like, w w there's a lot of time. Okay. How can I stop you for a second? Hold on. How is he taking this so far? Because I feel like a lot of men, like, are I dying for to know like what you want, and then uh, like it, it, there's like a split. Like men either really want to know what you want and it'll just do it, or they're like low key offended that what you've been giving the what they've been giving you isn't working. At first, he wasn't. He was never offended because honestly, he asked for it. Right. I was like, "Are you sure? Do you want me to tell you the truth, or do you want me to be like, yeah, I don't know. I said that." <laughs> And he was like, I want the truth. And, I, and then he's studying. And then when I said the first thing, I think that he was shocked that I instantly went into something that he does that I don't like. OK. And he and it kind of hit him that he had been the, it was the, reading the, it, the hand, it was yeah. the hand thing where I was like, well, if we're trying to move your hand. We're not saying we can't handle it. It's so good. It's we're trying to move it to where we want it. And I literally he looked like that's so Raven. Like I could see him going to all the women he's ever fucked and done that to. A Rolodex of women yes. that he's fucked up with. Yeah. It's <laughs> great. I love it. Yeah. And then he and then he was like and that's when he who like came back and he was like, What else? You know what I mean? And I was like, All right, let's get comfortable. He went to a different dimension. He visited his past self. Yeah. I, I was like, it. Can you warm me up some soup and I'll tell you the rest? <laughs> and he did. Let's put a pot of tea on. Uh, right. Um and then the other thing I brought up was um, like a lot of the times I don't, this is for me personally, it's a lot easier for me to come on top. Um, just a, a personal thing. I've heard that before for, for people. I think it's different for everyone, but if I'm on top and I'm trying to come, well, first before that, before that, in any position, if a girl tells you it feels good. Don't change it. Don't Please. change the speed. Please, for the love don't, of God. Don't think that you're like Superman. You're like, oh, that feels good. Watch this <laughs> other thing I have. It's like, no, you haven't figured out. A way to wreck it. Way to dude, wreck the whole thing. You've only figured out one thing and it's right in this moment. So please, dude, please. It's like watching someone successfully screw something in and then they just like fucking keep going until. it's like when you have you ever seen on tiktok when an artist has a like a beautiful drawing and then they just dump paint on top of it to ruin it yeah that's exactly what it's like that's exactly what it's like 
And they they love that though. They love thinking they could do better than what you just said was great. Right. It's like I know. Yes, please. You think I'm lying? Do you think we're playing games right now? Are you fucking kidding? I also so, feel like sometimes they'll wait for you to get really close to make the change. Yeah. They're like, I'm so on the edge. Like, I'm literally right there. And if you express that, you've made a fucking mistake. And they always want to know when you're going to come so they, that they could change it up and stop you. Also, sometimes <laughs> they want to know if you're going to come. And then if you tell them, they come right before you come. It's like, dude, I didn't tell you so you could fucking leak the secret. Yeah, that's fucked up. No, I feel like they like I'm... can't handle the news that I'm about to come, so they just come. I'm like, good. Oh, great! You almost made a girl come. Good job. I am adverse to telling the news that I'm about to come. I feel like once the secret's out, it it ruins the whole thing. It's a surprise party for me every time. It should oh, be a no. surprise party. Not me. I'm like I'm. I literally just say I'm about to come. Just keep doing that. I have to because you've learned your lesson, honey. Thirty one years on this earth, I've been fucking for over seventeen. <sighs> I'm done. I feel like I get in my head once I say I'm like I'm really close, then I get further away. It's like I need to I need it to surprise me even cuz once I'm once I'm so focused on being close, then I'm kind of stuck there. Oh, not Do you know me. what I mean? Once I'm once I say it, I announce it, I kind of it it, it initiates it. it That's initiates lucky. Initiates it. Yeah, for That's me. That's really nice. Yeah. Hey guys, let's take a second and talk about one of our favorite sponsors. It's IP Vanish. So, uh, what is IP Vanish? Well, IP Vanish is a virtual private network or a VPN for short. And a VPN is a super important tool that helps you safely browse the internet. You could use a VPN on your computers, tablets, phones, even things like your Fire Stick when you're streaming media. When you use a VPN, all of your data is encrypted what you're reading, what you're searching, what you're watching, whatever it is that you're doing. IP Vanish can help you remain anonymous and secure on the internet. IP Vanish is just $3.49 a month. For just $3.49 a month or $27.99 a year, you could help protect your online privacy and security. Here's everything you're going to get with IP Vanish anonymous IP addresses, which means your personal IP address can't be tracked by anybody on the web. You get to circumvent any online censorship. IP Vanish has more than 1,500 servers in 70 plus locations. You get protection when using public Wi-Fi. Remember, with IP Vanish, all your data is encrypted, so no one can snoop on what you're doing. And you get 24-7 customer support. Email them, chat with them, or call them. They're always there to help. Uh, these guys have been supporting the show for a while, and they've come back with an awesome deal, wanting to give you guys 65% off. Um, so go to ipvanish.com slash topics. That's I-P-V-A-N-I-S-H dot com slash T-O-P-I-X to claim your 65% savings. They have plans starting at just $3.49 a month or $27.99 a year. This is the time to sign up because with this discount and their current promotional offerings, you can get a VPN for 65% off the usual price. IP Vanish is the best of the best, even rated 4.7 out of 5 on Trustpilot with more than 6,000 reviews. Show these guys some love. Remember, it is ipvanish.com slash topics to get the deal and start protecting yourself online today. One last time ipvanish.com slash t-o-p-i-x all right let's get back to the show um i can't stand when a guy is telling me to come mm -hmm. i can't stand come for me baby no nothing makes me want to come less than a guy mansplaining my own cum Sir, to me you just sent us 50 <laughs> steps back dude just shut as the a fuck collective. if you say you're about to come and then he starts being like you better come right now a guy that's de do guys you, have you ever had a guy that's demanding come yes the worst S stop stop don't demand the come. God, you're gonna come right now. You don't you? You better not do anything else till you come. It's like this isn't an uh, this isn't small soldiers. Like what's going on? <laughs> please, I please stop talking to me. Yeah, I feel stop that. Stop talking. Stop telling me what to do. The last thing I am very much like uh, submissive. I guess in bed, I'm very much the opposite of how I am in real life. I'm very submissive in bed. Um, but I don't like. 
the male ego coming in. You better leave. You could do whatever you want, but leave your ego at the door is my rule. Yeah, I get that. It's like, don't come in being like, I'm the king of God and dick because I'll just text someone in front of you and show you the real king of God and dick. You better be humble. But the most insane part of all of this is that like, do you ever like start so so one of these things happens right Mm -hmm. and then low-key you're like you're like not mad but you're like disappointed that this mistake has happened again it's it's, these are mistakes that are in the books they've been happening since the beginning of sex for Mm -hmm. like both of us right Mm -hmm. so then it happens and you're like oh now i'm still trying to get there like now i still have to focus on trying to come while you've done all of these things wrong and it's making me a little angry yeah now you're like, now you're like in your now you're in your own feminist head where it's like why do i have to work so much and he just still like doesn't have to think of his grandmother like to come like good sex has turned into hate sex by the end for me so many times where i'm like how does that how did this happen right in the middle i've, I've turned to hating you and we're still fucking like <laughs> it's really a magical sport it's crazy <laughs> it's a whole new mentality now and we we were somewhere else five minutes ago like yeah yeah, it's a lot. It really is a lot. The the other thing I was saying is when when I'm like about to come, if I'm doing something, just let me do it. If I'm doing something, if I'm on top and I say I'm about to come, just let me whatever I'm doing in that moment, just let me you just pretend you're not there. Pretend I have detached your dick from your body and you've gone to the kitchen for a snack just for a hot minute. He was like last night, he was like, yeah, but like, he, and of course he's like super hot. He's like, yeah, but women like it when you like help. And I go, have you ever seen a child want to help their mother in the kitchen? <laughs> that, that's how, that's how, that's how you guys help. It's like, you just, yeah, the muffins get done, but there's a bigger mess than there needed to be. And I could have just done this easier if you just sat there. And I had to call upon my patients now. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, sure. But now there's flour everywhere. Yeah. And now I got to clean up after. It's just another thing I have to think about. Please just sit there. Just less. Less is more and less more is more and then more is more. I would truly say that's the biggest problem. That goes back to rule number four of stop doing something different. Stop. When we say that we're close. Stop. Yeah. Even if it's us doing it. We don't need your help. If we're we're almost coming from just doing it ourselves, just I be promise the tool you I'm need. taking myself in the right direction. I'm yes. I yeah. promise you. I know the road to my own home. I, it's like a dude pulls up a GPS in your home neighborhood and you're like, dude, I know how to get there. And he's like, no, but like he's like, I know a shortcut. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, he's like, two lefts always make three rights. And it's like, no, my house is right there. Literally, we're looking at it. Yeah, please. We're within walking distance. Yeah, please. but let's turn around and get Chick-fil-A real quick. It's like, no. No. Wow, I'm so on board with all of this. Um, I think that's all I had. I think those were it. And I can't really think of anything else. Those were like my my big ones. And this is just a general for all men out there. I'm pretty sure that if we brought any girl in this room, she would agree with all of these. Yeah. And They're this, the most common problems. Yeah. And this is one of the more important ones that you guys don't seem to pay attention is to like have like good smelling genitals. Do you want your dick sucked or not? Wash your balls. There should be if you want if you want your dick sucked and you want your balls licked and you want like like a girl like there are girls that'll be like this this dick kind of stinks and then just give you the mediocre head if that's what you want. Or you could just wash your balls and get good head. Mm-hmm. And when you wash your balls, you should never expect a girl to put her mouth on your dick unless you haven't been washing more than two hours. I agree with that. Two hours or less is my time. You need to have recently taken a shower. You need to have scrubbed the shit out of your dick and your asshole. Because guess what? When we're down there, we're close to your asshole. Even if you don't want like your asshole getting eaten, even if it's not getting touched. I don't know if you guys don't understand that smell travels. Smell travels. I was just going to say those exact words. We're not going to get Especially creative. Especially the two or three inches to exactly. your ball sack. Exactly. Please. Yeah, it's It true. drips. You you sweat. The sweat from your ass drips onto your balls. And then it glazes like a warm donut over disgusting. your balls. It really hurts me. It, oh, my God. Dude, just... Clean your ass. Mm -hmm. You know, like I can specifically, this is how dirty men are. I can specifically remember men that have clean nuts. Like it's like a, it's like a, like, like a fragrance in my memory. Yes. Like they stand out to me and I'm like, that guy had the cleanest dick. I loved sucking his dick. Mm -hmm. 
That shouldn't have to be. That should be the norm. You ever get down to suck a dick and it smells like soap? <laughs> I love that, baby. I, I prefer love it. A man I love that, a dick to smell like soap. I love a soapy dick. I don't even mind if I still taste a little soap on your dick. Me neither. I would literally prefer to taste soap on your dick than, than dick. dick cheese. Yeah, yeah, dude. Bad dick is bad. Yeah. Bad dick is bad. You mm-hmm. ever sucked a smelly dick? Yes. It's the worst. But not for long. No. And mediocre. You do it I mean, like the you, you You literally like... You use you put the your word. mouth over it and then you like spit on it a few yep. times. Like yep. it deserves. Yes. <laughs> you try to clean it with your own spit. You're like the, the I'm a bacteria. Cat now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're bathing it like I'm mother a mother cat for my baby for <laughs> yeah. some reason. And then you spit the extra back onto the balls because you're not going to. And keep then it. you don't want to touch. You don't want your mouth to touch that extra spit, so that becomes some hand business. Yes, and, and then you you're push only that down, touching you're- the <laughs> tip of the dick with your mouth because you're like, this is all I could bear to consider putting in here the tip it's bad when the tip is the cleanest part you're like whatever's new coming out of this hole i'll take and (laughs) yes the fresh stuff from the inside which on a clean guy is the dirtiest part of the the dirtiest part actually becomes the cleanest part of the dick when you're dirty you should know how clean your dick is by how low the girl is to your balls if there is a clean dick i have Two balls in one cheek and a dick in the other. My throat literally opens me deeper. Too. It's like I, I fit his whole waist <laughs> inside of crazy. me. I could, I could take it to the base if you're clean enough. Pretty much, no matter what. Same. I will because the but I will smell gag has to myself, do with the gag reflex. So it makes perfect sense. Like if you smell, I'm gonna gag way sooner when that thing's only halfway in. Uh, uh, yep. It's so disgusting. I, if you smell good, I will. Your dick will so go so far down my throat that You'll I will. You'll have to check there, me from the side. You'll have to take a look and say, I didn't realize she goes that deep. <laughs> it will come out of my ass if you're big enough. Yeah, I'm with you on that. So have what I, the whole point of this one, guys, is make sure your shit's clean. But this goes to general hygiene because I think a lot of guys think that they're clean when they're, in fact, filthy dirty. You are mu- whatever you think you smell like, it's worse, men. Yes, it's twice as bad at, at the very least. The, the the fucking hoops I go through to make sure my pussy, anyone who's experienced it has had a clean, I'm sure in 31 years, maybe one or two slip ups after a long night where a guy actually didn't care either. But the hoops I go through. Well, this is an example of how much more women care than men. I promise you. A man's never tasted his own cum. And I feel like as a teenager, every girl's like, I got to give this a taste if I ever want a guy to, to go down on it. I, I got to make sure it's not bad. Now. I sometimes when I'm on acid, I just enjoy the taste of it. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's, you just. That's nice. Are you waiting? Wait a fucking minute. I, Holy I, shit. Did you just admit that when you're tripping on acid, you eat your own cum? No, 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 no. No, no that's why you just. But you said when, when I'm, I'm on, on acid. acid when I'm on acid, I, if I if I finger myself on acid, I will then smell my fingers and say, that smells like roses to me. Right. And then I'll go wash my hands and try to move on with my night. But then I'll find my hands in my pants and I'll find myself smelling the roses again. And I'm like, Jesus, you got to wash your hands again. You just keep smelling these roses. Well, when is when the part about you eating it come in? Well, <laughs> yeah. Because you're leaving the good detail when it, tastes, out. when it smells that good, you got to be like, I wonder if it tastes all right. And you lick and you're like... Wow, I taste Alex, amazing. Alex, do you eat more cum than you're leading on? No, this is one <laughs> specific. I'm convinced. I don't know why. I'm convinced you eat your own cum Listen, a I'll lot. tell the world, everybody, take acid, taste your own cum, <laughs> and then label yourself a fucking god or goddess because... If you're good enough, it'll be amazing. Yeah. No, I mean, no dude ever tastes their own. No dude's ever tasted his own. Every girl tastes her own as a teenager. Harrington's saying yes. Mike, you've tasted your own cum? Yeah, obviously. On purpose? Yeah. On purpose, or did you masturbate and shoot it into your own mouth? Both. (laughs) (laughs) Did you taste it for the purpose of, like, what's this girl going to taste? No, no, it was just like, yeah, just I'm curious. 13, I'm 12, and I'm oh, like, yeah, 13. fuck it. I'm gonna. So he hasn't done it. You haven't tasted he was it like. You haven't, yeah. <laughs> you just didn't want to go to the kitchen. Uh, you haven't done it like, oh, I'm going to go see this girl later. And let me make sure my cum's to par. No, if I've tasted my cum after that first time, it's exactly the scenario Alex was giving where it just, you know. The... It seemed nice. No, 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 where it uh, it just, you know, it came too hard from jerking off. Oh, and that one. A little okay. ended in my mouth. I was like, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> and what'd okay. you think of it? 
I, mean, I don't know. I, I don't get what all the fuss is about. Me neither. You know, there's all this hubbub, yeah, like, oh, it's gross. Mean. It's like, yeah. Oh, you don't. Oh. I, yeah, I was trying to figure out what he's meaning to oh. say there because I know I that t- nobody's I'm... fussed over. <laughs> I've never fussed over the taste of cum in a good way. No. I know that. I've never been like, more gummies. Can I just have a glass of this, please? No. 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 You should be, if I were a dude and I was about to fuck a girl, I would be cupping my balls and make sure I get my, like this, and I'd be getting my fingers to the very back of my ball sack and I'd be cupping them and feeling them for 30 full seconds and then I would pull my hand up, smell it. And if it doesn't smell like skin or soap, you need to go take a shower again. Before you fuck a girl, you need to take a shower. And you know what? If you're not sure, then taste it. And if you don't like the taste, you need to take a shower. And, and if you're going to finger a girl after a night out, go wash your hands first. Okay. But this is actually something that I will just make a man wash his hands before he fingers me because yeah. I don't believe them. I'll literally say, if we're going to do this, go wash your hands first. Yeah. It sucks and it's when like you have annoying. to stop in the middle of it, but yeah, it's like, but their it's hands like, are so nasty, I could, uh, Yeah. Like, and they don't care when you get a yeast infection. They'll just call you nasty. And um, it's like, no, you did this. I, oh, 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 thank you. Hold on. Thank you for bringing this up. <laughs> I have never in my life had my pH thrown off from anything other than a penis. No. It's always a dude introducing his fucking dick into my system that gives me an infection every yep. single time. Yep. And then it's like a week later, you're upset that we can't fuck because I have an infection. Well, guess whose fault that is? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's always a dude. It's always your, disgust- it's the- your disgusting dick. <sighs> Hey there, auto mechanics and super cool do-it-yourself guys who work on your own cars. I want to tell you about rockauto.com, the online store with every auto part at the best possible prices. This is your one-stop shop for everything auto parts. rockauto.com has been in business for 20 years, and they make it easy to find the parts you need at the best possible prices. No more talking to counter guys who need to order your parts aren't really sure what you're looking for, never have quite what you need, and then after all the hassle, we'll still charge you storefront markups. At rockauto.com, you can easily find everything you need, and whether you're a mechanic, an auto shop, or working on your own car, everyone has access to the same incredible prices at rockauto.com. So if you're a car guy, right now go to rockauto.com and check out all the parts available for your car. You're going to have the most fun you've ever had in your entire life just looking at car parts. One more time, go to rockauto.com. No promo code needed because their pricing is already that good. When you order, just let them know that you heard about them on Broad Topics Podcast. That's rockauto.com, R-O-C-K-A-U-T-O dot com. All right, let's get back into the show. Listen, these are we're not man hating. No. Wherever no, for every stinky bad dick, there's there's oh, well, there's one eighth of a good yeah, <laughs> there's one twenty fifth of a good dick. So what we're saying is we're just trying to give some helpful hints out. We're not trying to put anyone down. That's it. That's I it. like a little slap in the face. You like a what? little slap no. in the face? No. Oh. Okay. Okay. Not me. You don't? No. Yeah, I like a little pop in the face if I'm sucking a dick. No, never. No? No. I'd walk out. What? (laughs) I'm into it. Absolutely not. I'm already sucking your dick. You don't need to slap me. I mean, I'm happy for you, though, that you hear (laughs) slaps. Will you take a slap from a dick? No, that's corny. I would literally prefer you slap me with your dick than slap me in the face with your hand. No, I with the hand. Okay. (laughs) All right. Like a little... I'm not for like a little. No, I'm hardly for a spanking even. Like uh, I'll accept it at the right degree, but as soon as you hit me too hard, I'm totally out of it. Oh man, it sounds like if you're if I'm in a room fucking, it sounds like someone's cracking a whip in there. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, there is noise. In it. it sounds like a construction site. No, not me. Yeah, I like a I like an ass smack. It's a, you hear one or two, and then you hear me asking to please stop that. <laughs> Please stop that. Not, no, that's enough. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like it. I'm into it. No. Also, like, my ass can be smacked 
I feel like you could take a better beating than I can. Uncomfortably yeah. hard. Where I'm like, am I okay? I'm but- delicate. Where I'm like, can't you see I'm frail? I'm <laughs> literally skin and bones. Why are you hitting me? Yeah, you get like itchy. Yeah, too much. <laughs> Do they slap you too hard? Um, yeah. So fun. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I want every man who's listening to this, if you haven't before, I want you to taste your own cum tonight. And I also, if you have a girl, if you're listening at home, like, I want you to listen to this podcast and really try those things on your girl. Mm-hmm. Like for real. Like I'm I'm out here to try and change sex lives. And these aren't, these are things that I, it's not just with Alex. These are things that I've discussed with 50 other girls that I know. It's not a, it's not a thing that we're, is, is just us being weird. Like these are things that women like that I think would be very helpful, especially if you, you're listening to this podcast and you've been in a long relationship. Maybe things are moving a little slower now. Maybe you want to spice things up a little. Fuck her better. Also, See what happens. It's important to note that everything that we've said are like really obvious things. Like when you said that you had a list for him, mm-hmm. like part of me thought you were going to come up with like not that this list isn't great it's fantastic but like Mm -hmm. these are just all things i've heard before it's like why are we still why is every like here's how men could be better at sex Mm -hmm. list sound exactly like this and it's forever like in a hundred years is this still going to be the list because they don't listen yeah yeah i think so that's that's the they're really bad listeners yeah they're really bad listeners Mm -hmm. they don't listen but also it's like even if they're good listeners, I think the issue is that once their dick is hard, it's the thing that's doing the thinking. Right. So it's like you could even – you could say this to somebody and they might not even pick it up on the first try because Fuck. their dick is hard now and they go right back into like caveman mentality. Yeah. That's really fucked. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's really sad. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard out here. I feel like I didn't even start having good sex until I was like 27. I feel like that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It was just like, I didn't realize. Because he'd never been shown. I had never been shown. I get that. And then just one day on my 30th birthday, <laughs> this guy changed my whole fucking life. I remember I you called me. I I swear to God, this someone changed my life <laughs> just a year ago. I and... straight up remember the phone call I got when Kim's life was changed for the better. By by a dick, one dick. And I was like, this is gonna change who I am as a person. I started donating to charities, I fed the homeless. She paid her taxes. I paid my taxes, dude. I was like, I wanna live forever if this is what sex is like. So yeah, you'll get there. It took me forever to learn how to come while having sex, not just being like eaten out. Like for the first like eight years of me, I'd be like, no, I can't come from sex. I think so many girls think that that's the truth for them. But the thing is, the biggest problem is they're not being selfish enough in bed. They're letting these dudes run around in bed, mm-hmm. come, do whatever they want. And they're not speaking out loud. Even dudes, a lot of the times, like, a dude will be eating me out and he'll try to, like, put my feet over my head. And it's like, dude, if I want to enjoy being eaten out, I kind of just want to lay here and have someone suck on my pussy. <laughs> I hate to sound like I hate well, to sound like a fucking animal, but it's like I don't need to be in a gymnastic a crazy position for your benefit while this whole activity is supposed to be for my benefit. That's yes, crazy. Yes. That's actually that's another really insane one where it's like there's no way that you think that this is comfortable for me and that I could be enjoying this while I'm literally using half my muscle strength to stay in this position. <laughs> I'm texting that guy right now. I forgot two more sex things to add to the list. No. He does that? <laughs> yeah. He does do that. And I'm like, I don't, I don't, I had to be like last night, like, can you put my legs down? I've never had that happen to me. Like literally having a guy put me in an uncomfortable position to please me but that would be really upsetting i'm just like why i was like if i was sucking your dick and i put your legs over your head you'd be upset <laughs> you'd be so fucking upset at me <laughs> fucking god i'm just picturing no girl wants to feel uncomfortable yes. while you're giving her head yes it does open up thousands upon thousands of new sexual positions <laughs> if you make the girl uncomfortable i yes. guess but like stop imagining you know what pisses me off so this much? This isn't a porn, dude. <clears throat> so I used to do ballet, and like my flexibility is pretty wild. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and like my one of my ex boyfriends, I'd be like stretching, like literally, like all of my energy is going into this stretch. Like it hurts so bad, and like this is literally just in the daytime, like waking up in the morning stretching. And mm -hmm. then he'd make a comment like, "Oh, we should we should use that position. Oh, we should we should definitely be using more of that position." I'm like, dude, do you understand? I'm like taking the deepest breaths of my life just to stay in this position. I don't want you, I don't even want you to breathe on me while right. I'm stretching like this. Are you no. crazy? I'm like, yes, I could do a split. I could hold my leg back and do a split, but that doesn't mean I could stand with my holding. What Do you have a ballet bar for me that I could hold on to? What the oh fuck are you talking God. about? You want to fuck me in that position? Are you fucking crazy? I hate, I hated the audacity of even the thought that I would take that position for you to put your dick in me. Ugh. It, they just think they're it's so good. My flexibility is not for your benefit, okay? It's not, I'm not comfortable. I don't work for fucking Cirque du Soleil where I could lay in a full split and full comfort. It's crazy. It is crazy. It's so, it's so upsetting. Yeah. I feel like every girl who's flexible has dealt with that too. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't, there's no man who's impressed by a woman's flexibility. Like, oh, wow, she worked really hard to get that flexible. She must have gone through days and days of pain they're while like, I could stretching. Fuck that. I could fuck Literally, that. Literally, they're just like, oh, imagine if I had my dick like right in that spot. I guess I could probably like, put my feet around like this. I could hold her like this and, and she'd be bouncing. And she'd be on the ceiling. And it's like, dude, just stop with the imagination. Enough. They have too much imagination. It's it, only for this, by the way. It's the only thing they ever imagined is sex. <laughs> They've never imagined a rainbow or something <laughs> in their lives. That's so crazy. Isn't that crazy? That's so crazy. Imagine 100% of your imagination it's power going pussy. to one thing. I like to daydream, sister. Me too. I like to sweet. picture a better life for myself. Honey, That's I, how you manifest. Honey, regularly I'm jumping on clouds. <laughs> it's like Men are just manifesting sex. Yeah. 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 All the time. And it's like, honestly, out of 10 guys that I meet, 0.2 of them are good at sex. 0.2. Like, two like literally not even one. Like not even one. I think it out of every 100 guys, probably. That's if, two, I think, out of every 100. Yeah, if it was I think that's two. about right. Not that I've fucked 100 guys, but I'm saying like that would be the average. Does that make sense? Why are you making that face, Harrington? Well, because that average only makes sense if you've had sex with at least 50 guys and only one of them were good. I've had sex with probably close to 50 guys. And one of them Maybe was not good. exactly 50. And she literally Maybe only... Low four, maybe low 40s. <laughs> I'll tell you, she literally only wrote home about one of them. I only got that phone call once. Yeah, so I think that's about close. They're not that good, to be honest. It's, I'm not impressed. I'm just not. Yeah, I've had I've had I've had good sex with a few guys. Like I've had really good sex with a few guys. Really good sex. Like I say, out of ten, like a nine out of ten with a handful of guys that I can remember. Maybe maybe eight. Right, but I've had great sex. One guy. Okay, the best sex, like a perfect ten. One guy. I feel like I've never experienced a perfect 10. There's always something. A perfect 10 will make you think it's an 11, honey. Yeah? I'm like, perfect 10 it... tips the scales? Yeah, yeah, truly. Yeah, no, I feel like even after, uh, I don't know, it's just difficult. It's difficult to, it's just difficult with men, you know? Fuck a girl. That's that's what I that's what you think sometimes, but then you're like, is that really what I want? Like, I love dick. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, it's just I just love dick, and then there's always a man around it, which is fine. It's just a, a lot to deal with. I got two words for you: trans women. Listen, ever since I started producing Bye Guys podcast, and we've been looking at these like hot ass trans women. Fully in, one hundred percent. That's a, such a dream. That seems so nice. Mm -hmm. Like big fake tits, mm -hmm. really cute feminine face, big dick. Sounds great. It sounds great. I can't imagine anything but it's, better. I'm, I can't say this on the podcast. On the podcast, and I would never mean this. It's a woman, mm -hmm. but biologically. It still would have no 
the the the, the, the trans woman like sh- she would still biologically have like the instincts of a man. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, hold on. I never thought about that. Am I wrong to say? And I'm treading very lightly with respect to the trans community. I think it- I'm just saying deep down inside, is there still a, a, a man traits? I think it probably depends on the person, but I think that that's likely. First of all, because like a lot of this a lot of like sexually related stuff is just like inherent right and then also like is a trans woman going to spit on your pussy (laughs) really i mean i don't know because they they also have never known what it's like to have a vagina either right so that's a whole different it's a whole another thing that they relate to like cis men with what about a tra- what about a trans man who just had a nice dick built onto him? Who knows the feminine? Who grew up, you know, in a feminine body, knows the feminine ways, now has a dick. I like that. That doesn't sound bad either. That's key, right? Yeah. A gender fluid trans man that looks like a woman. <sighs> A unicorn. <laughs> what we call a precious angel unicorn. Uh, you find those one in every hundred thousand. One in every hundred thousand people, and I'll bet they're a good fuck. Yeah, yeah and they're taken. <laughs> Bad news. They're married and cheating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, th- this was our um, how to become a better lover for men episode. How to fuck I? good one hundred one. One hundred one. We've taught. I hope we've taught you something. I hope that you're not discouraged. It's never too late to start fucking good. Um, take today. You know. You know. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, "I'm gonna give good dick today. I'm not gonna spit on a pussy when it's not ready to be fucked. I'm gonna actually work to make it wet. I'm not gonna." Oh, one big one I have to add, mm-hmm. and maybe this is a personal. Listen, maybe this should be a two-hour pod. <laughs> this one's maybe personal. You can't just lick the pussy. I know that that's what it's technically called. You gotta suck on it <laughs> a little bit. Some men just think you have to lick a pussy. I feel like it greatly depends. Sometimes a suck on a pussy will take me all the way out. <gasps> all the way out. Okay, this one is uh, is up to opinion, I see. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes a suck is way too much. It just depends how much, like, I think it depends on the blood flow there. Like, if it's too sensitive and you suck, I'm like, whoa, you just... Did you just pop my clit out my body? Oh my god. <laughs> Is it gone? How hard are people sucking on your clit? No, it doesn't take that much. So if like with very You're super with sensitive. super sensitivity, I'm like don't even do that at all. Oh no, no. Yeah. No. I'm like I can't feel you down there. You better sound like a damn Hoover. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for listening to this episode of Broad Topics. Um, you guys can follow me on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon, uh, on Instagram at Kim Congdon. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Queen Kong One. I will be in Austin, Texas, November 1st on the Kill Tony podcast. I will be headlining with Sarah, co headlining with my girl. Sarah Weinshank at the Creek in the Cave on November 3rd. Please come out, uh, get tickets for that show. We're trying to fill up that room. I would really appreciate it if you're in Austin, November 3rd. And then November 4th, Sarah and I are also doing the Death Squad show in Austin, Texas. And then November 5th through 7th, we're heading to Houston for Skank Fest South. So excited. Um, Alex, what about you? What do you got? Follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram at I am Alex Scar. Uh, of course, subscribe, do everything that you can on Broad Topics YouTube page. Even if you watch us on YouTube, go subscribe to us on iTunes. Press the button and like in every place that you can. It'll help us out. Um, also, check out Stick and Portly podcast every Monday after Legion of Skanks. Me and Mike Harrington recap an episode of Rick and Morty. Um, head to gasdigitalnetwork.com. Use promo code TOPICS to sign up. It'll give you a seven-day free trial with access to absolutely everything. Hell yeah, yeah, will. And... Um, come say hi to us at Skankfest. All right, we love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.